All right, so I'm back now. Uh, Dave has given me the privilege to kind of go through his game room now a little bit more in detail. So uh, we're going to try to do this before the guests arrive. It should be arriving shortly. It's getting close to the start time. But uh, we're going to kind of get down low here and let you see some of these amazing condition games here. I mean... Uh, Remember, this is Add a Ball City up here. The Add a Balls and the replay games for the wedge heads that Gottlieb manufacture are quite similar. And uh, this particular one here is Hurdy Gurdy, and the replay version to Hurdy Gurdy is Central Park, which I have in my collection. So, as you can see, it's a little different the uh, Hurdy Gurdy play field. But still, uh, they made a little production run of these. And as I move over to the next game here, Flipper Pool, uh, its replay version is Bankable. So Bankable and Flipper Pool have identical back glasses almost and play fields. And uh, it's, of course, 1965. So there you have it. Uh, two air balls right here in the corner. And, uh, of course, Atlantis I have in my collection also, and that's a replay version, so we won't take too much time on that. Uh, we want to get over to this palace guard, which I used to have a royal guard. And the royal guard I have uh, moved on and sold to a gentleman in England by Liverpool there in England, and he has that game. It was his childhood game, so... Uh, Royal Guard and Palace Guard, that's the Edible Palace Guard and Royal Guard's a replay. Moving over, Lucky Hand, same back class as my game, which I have in my collection, and that's called Jack's Open. So Lucky Hand and Lucky Card and Jack's Open are the Edible and Replay version. As you can see, the play field is identical to my Jack's Open. So uh, there you have two edibles right there, and uh, Rockstar, I believe that's the edible to uh, Blue Note. So uh, this is a terrific low production game, Rockstar. And as you can see, Dave's games are in magnificent condition. He's uh, been in the hobby again well, for 25 plus years and dedicated a lot of hard work to getting a collection like this so again the real treat is today we're going to be looking and emphasizing the point on edible so uh, you'll be able to learn the difference and the comparisons between the replay versions of Gottlieb Wedgeheads and the edible version which uh, and I so I thought that's an yeah. Italian version Italian, uh, let me right. I was I was corrected here by Mike Berg I'm glad he's yeah. tailgating me and uh, that's correct, because uh, yes, I thought Lucky Hand was the edible. Okay, so he has an Italian version, version. game, because Gottlieb did manufacture wedge heads for overseas, and uh, very, very low production run, and them lower than the edibles, I would presume. So uh, that's a unique game he has in his collection, and we're swinging around here, and we're going next to uh, the Kings and Queens. I think this is actually Dave's replay version row he made a row here with uh, all the special games replay games that Gottlieb made kings and queens and uh, we're going to glance over these replay versions quite quickly here slick chick is another replay version uh, I don't believe there's an edible version to that there's no edible version to kings and queens either so bowl and queen is a replay version and there's no edible version to bowling queen now ice review does have an edible version it's called ice show but this particular game we're looking at is a replay game so we're going to quickly glance over these and get back to dave's sensational collection of edibles as you can hear now the guests are moving in they're coming into the uh, Party already. 
So I'm going to try to move a little more quickly on uh, this video. And here we go. We're going to turn gently to the left here. Square head is an add a ball. And uh, there is a replay version to square head. Which doesn't come to mind right away for me. And there's a re, uh, soccer here, reverse wedge head. It's a Williams game, so Dave likes the uh, reverse wedge heads like myself, which is a nice shape. And flipper cowboy. Okay, so it is something to be said about this. This game is in remarkable condition. This particular game here, they made buckaroo and cowpoke. So God had made three versions of this game. And uh, I would say Flipper Pool is uh, one of the early 1961 makes, which probably was one of the first ones. They made Cowpoke and Buckaroo next in 65. And I believe Flipper Cowboy is part of the Flipper series of edibles that Gottlieb made when they start, first started making Wedgeheads. Just a magnificent game. So we're going to stick with the wedge heads and come back to these wood rails later. So over here is Dimension, which uh, we talked about a little bit when Dave was interviewed earlier. Uh, this Dimension is uh, in impeccable condition. The plate is just amazing. And the uh, way it plays is great. Dave dedicates a lot of time, like myself, hundreds of hours in each game to perfect them to play like factory new and Dimension has a special replay version called 2001 which I have in my collection so 2001 and Dimension are basically the same game except one's an added ball and one's a free play replay version again Colorado, we touched on that this is a beautiful condition game and uh, the gameplay is magnificent. There is a replay version to this game, and that's called El Dorado. So Gold Strike is the replay, and El Dorado is the special. Gold Strike is the edible. So let me correct myself. And, Gold, and El Dorado is the replay version. Really nice games. So we're going to swing over to another edible wedge head, which is called Free Fall. And uh, Sky Jump is the replay version. So Dave has lots and lots of edibles in magnificent condition. And the gameplay is different, of course, on all these edibles that got the manufactured in the 1960s and 70s. Really nice game. Moving over to the Melody, I have a game called Sing Along, which is the same game as Melody. So Melody is the edible version of Sing Along, and this is a really nice condition game also. Dave does spectacular work, his dedication, his passion, it all shines in his collection, and that's what us collectors strive for, putting all the hard work in, finding the cherry games, the nice condition games, selling the other game we had, and upgrading collections. So Dave has been doing this, like myself, for 25 plus years. And moving over to the subway, which seems to be in spectacular condition. Like, it's a beautiful game, a little different play feel artwork on this than the Crosstown that I have because Subway is the air to ball to Crosstown. And uh, Crosstown I have in my collection. Uh, and Dave has the air to ball Subway in his collection. So again, these air to balls, Scotland didn't manufacture many of them. They might have manufactured 3,000 Crosstowns, but they only probably manufactured 900 Subways because they were going to the three states in the U.S. that were outlawed from pinball, winning free games or replay version. So Gottlieb made games like Subway that a player could win a free ball 
not a free game and it wasn't considered gambling. So with that being said, we're going to move over to some more edibles. We've got the emphasis on edibles right now. And Fun Park is another edible. I had the replay version to this game. It was called Fun Land. And uh, this game is in really, really awesome condition. And Dave has some magnificent, magnificent games. And uh, again, they're the edible versions, which are rare and low production manufactured by Gottlieb. So uh, it's a really exclusive collection you're viewing right now. I don't know if you're going to see many more collections like this uh, close by here on the northeast <laughs> coast. What a beautiful, beautiful game. So we're down to the last two edibles here, and they are Captain Carr. Now I have the replay version to this game, and the replay version, or the special when lit version, is called High Hand. So this Captain Card is an edible, and it's in really nice shape. Dave's had this game for a while. I've been up to his parties for many, many years, consecutive years, without missing because you never get enough of his games. You never could play enough of his games. Even though you go 15 straight years to his parties like myself, I can't get enough. So today is a special treat again for me. I hope you guys are enjoying this. This beautiful Diamond Jack, it's got an awesome play feel. Dave's games are in magnificent condition. we got some glowing neon signs in between, but you can really see the hard work that uh, Dave has put in over the years like myself and like many other collectors that love these games. So uh, that's it. We made it through most of the edibles. So while we're here now, towards the end of this video, we're going to go into some of the other games he has, like this bowlet. What a beautiful wood reel, puck bowler. It's got the pins on it that light up in the back, which is just amazing for the year. I'm sure this slim, short, little puck bowler is from the 1950s, early 50s. It's just in an amazing condition. And here he has the Mata Hari, which has been in his collection for many years. It's the uh, Valley 1978 or 9 Mata Hari. I had one at one time in my collection, but uh, traded it for another game that I wanted. Terrific player. And Joe Kapokery just picked up the, this is a game that I recently added to my collection because of the playability. This game is just an amazing player. And like that said, Dave said this playfield is really, really nice shape he has here. So he's gonna build on this game. He's gonna replace the glass that he has. This has a little flake in. He's got a new glass, so terrific game. Great player. And Dave has par golf. Another collectible mannequin type game where the this mannequin actually moves and hits the ball into the back uh, section there and you play golf. Great game. And here we have another Williams game. This Williams spaceship early in the 60s is a terrific looking game. Beautiful, beautiful artwork. And Dave's got one of the best condition ones I've seen around. And uh, I like this. I like this game, and uh, I just think that uh, it's a tough player. That's all I know. A very tough player. So we're going to go over to these other games that we want to include in Dave's collections, even though they're not Gottlieb Wedgeheads or Edibles. Like this Swing Time. This is a, another reverse Wedgehead. And as you can see, while we're scanning through some of these games, Dave has won some... Uh, some awards for some of these games, which uh, can you blame anybody for giving awards to these games? They're just amazing. And uh, this is from the Instatic show up there. 
a new show, a great guy who runs that show, Dave, another Dave who runs that show up there, a terrific fella. Got to meet him a couple times, so uh, definitely an award-winning game for sure here. It's Williams, 1961, two or three swing time. Terrific reverse wedge head. So now we're going to move over to Gottlieb's 1950 wood rail section here that Dave has. It's a pretty nifty section. He's got about seven of them here in a row, and he's got many more that he has in his warehouse that we visited on the first video. So this skill pool is a beautiful game. I played this the last time out. I love the brack of pools that just kind of sit in the middle of the right the play field here. Shot the balls out to give you an idea. As you can see, his games are very snappy. They're very uh, uh, quick to respond. He does a terrific job. Great. These wood rails have the charm and the beauty, like no other games that Gottlieb made. Uh, there's another one here, Classy Bowler, which is in a beautiful condition. Again, Dave had mentioned that all these are all original. All the wood rails never been painted, and uh, condition is outstanding. When you're uh, networked like Dave and you've been in the hobby for so long, you end up getting all the good, low-played, beautiful games. But again... You still have to put hundreds of hours, another hundred hours into a game like this to make it look and play great. So there you have it. Uh, Knockout, of course, is one of the most sought after wood reels by Gottlieb. Because of the animation here on the play field, the guy's fighting. We visited Joel's collection recently, past month or two, and he has one of these. So they are around, but they're exclusively hard to find. And uh, probably the most expensive of the wood rails to purchase. Uh, so as you can see, these original condition wood rails are spectacular. I'm just going to want to come down here and let you see the front of these games. This is some treat to everybody that loves these games to see them in this kind of condition. It's just amazing. So we're going to shoot back up here up to Chinatown, which is always one of my favorite games. It has a beautiful color cabinet. And uh, this one is in amazing condition. To have all original wood reels in this condition only means that you've worked hard in the field of collecting to find these games. It doesn't come easy. Even though these games looking like new, they were played, but amazing workmanship on these games, on all the games. And this is a really cool player, a crossroads. Our buddy down in PA has one of these. And... Uh, can't say enough about it. Sitting Pretty has always been one of my favorite wood reels. I like the roto spin. I like the artwork on this game. And it's a terrific player. It's a carryover type game. And uh, I can't wait to play these games. I did want to take the time out to videotape Dave's collection because it just belongs out on the internet for everyone to view and enjoy because where are you going to see games like this in this condition? I don't know. I'm saying uh, from experience each one of these games have 100 plus hours so they constantly at it. Like myself in the past I have slowed down somewhat but uh, it looks like Dave has not so there you have it everyone we're going to go through the game room real gently now I want to 
kind of just show off all his great signage that he has. I don't want to miss any of that, so we'll raise up the camera here and give you an idea on what's going on with the signage. He has everything meticulously hung and all the wiring and service in here is spectacular. And look at that, look at all the keys hanging. That's to keep the keys away from everybody. <laughs> I'm sure Dave has everything marked. That's pretty cool, I like that. I have all the keys hanging from my ceiling and my collection downstairs too, but uh, this is kind of cool to have them compact in one spot. Yeah, there's more, so check it out. He's got all the good signs, things you really don't see that often. He loves his signage, so uh, nothing wrong with that. Really cool, cool wall art. Just terrific wall art. And check out the pinball machines up here on the top arch. Pretty interesting. Look at that, a Pepsi plastic pinball machine. Here's another award that they've received up at Pinstatic again. I mean, uh, this game is remarkable. What a great game Kings and Queens is. I mean, if I had to add another game to my collection, it would probably be this game, Kings and Queens. It's a wonderful, wonderful wedge head. And this one is uh, in outstanding condition. Just outstanding. All right, so there's a little bit more in here. Dave has this uh, little entranceway here kind of set up for the food later and a uh, tremendous amount of cool signage hanging up in this little walkway entrance into his basement game room. Some cool bumper stickers. And Ringer, everybody wants this game. Cool, cool player, this Ringer. And as you can see, Dave's is beautiful. So he has this other little entrance. You can go either way, right or left, and you come into this room. They're there in the emergency room, and they're talking to the head nurse in the emergency room and said, we need him out of here by sunset. She said, You'll get them when we're done doing what we need to do because he died. Oh. We got, you know, there are certain laws and restrictions and things yeah. that have to be done when they, something they, like they, that happens. Do they want. So he said, I don't want to talk to you because she was female. Hey, what's going so on, bro? We got the, um, and, as, and, here, and here comes Mike K now. We spoke about Mike Carson or Mike K from New Jersey and his sidekick Fred. This guy's just made way into the. Uh, Come on, brother. How you been, man? Good. 
So, uh, huh? Pete? No, you're a guy. We're going to put oh, this no, video no, to rest doing, now. I'm so busy doing so much stuff. He's uh, not in a position to do anything at this point. You know? so all right, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video out there. For sure, it's a special treat to view something like this. I was excited to Dave allowed me to come here today and uh, make this video, but he was more excited to do it. So, it just shows you what type of great guy he is. So there you have it, everyone. Dave M's collection of Williams, Gottlieb's, and other miscellaneous games here in New York on the Northeast Coast. All right, till next time. We'll see you then.